Your response means everything. And people do not understand that your response is tied to your miracle. Your response is tied to your blessing. How do you respond in the midst of your situations will determine what the outcome will actually be. Let's go to Samuel real quick. Second Samuel lies that a lot of times your presence can affect the flow of service. And so when you are in a service and you have no response, then you are affecting maybe not yours. Because remember, he said, if I didn't regard this one king, Jehoshaphat, I wouldn't even talk to y'all. See, three kings got delivered because there was one person in the midst that said, I am not going to sit here and act like I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't have the Holy Ghost on the inside of me. I'm not going to sit here. Jesus said, can I tell you a story? The reason why this woman has responded with such fervor for me is because she has been through so much that when all of a sudden I stepped into the room, it was so much in her because she realized what I have been through, what my life has turned into, and there's only one who can turn this whole thing around, and I need him. And so I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you feel because I know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And if you are grateful for something that God did for you that he didn't have to, but he did it anyway, that he didn't, he wasn't required to do it, but he turned it around for you, then you understand what I'm telling you. He said, let me tell you something. He said, stay on. See, and this is where the place of her response, a listen, say on, Lord. Amen, pastor. Preach that, sir. Say on, because I want to hear. I need something from the Lord. I didn't come here to play games. I didn't come to church because I got everything perfect. I am here because I got some real situations and I need some real answers to some very real problems. And I am not here to play tiddlywinks. I am not here to just look good. I am not here because I came to fraternize with the person next to me, the person on the side of me. I didn't come to see you. I came to hear. Lord, speak. Your servant is listening. I have some things that I need to know, and you are the only one, Lord, who's got the answer. So speak to me. I want to hear. I don't care if they don't want to hear it. I need something from you, and I ain't leaving until I get it. There is one thing that he wants from you, and it is your response. If you want something, you're going to have to ask. If you need it, you're going to have to respond. And if you respond to him in a way that is conditioned with what he wants, then all of a sudden more begins to happen. More begins to transpire. Why? Because you have learned how to respond to him. Yes, he has it, but why would he make you ask him for it? So that you would come to him and acknowledge that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. See, if you're not hungry, you don't have that in you. That's why it says, they that thirst for righteousness shall be filled. See, the problem is people want to come to God empty. (laughs) They think, well, you know, I don't care. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And the problem is, how could you be empty of your praise of him? How can you be empty of your response to him? 
And the funny part is, when you're full, is when you're the most empty. See, when you're full, your hands are just empty. You, you're not hungry anymore. You're not thirsty. <laughs> well, that's why the Bible says to a hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. <laughs> when you're really hungry, you'll take the correction. <laughs> See, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the full folks that don't want to... Don't tell me what to do, Pastor. I got it all figured out. Don't talk to me about my life. I ain't changing nothing. This, trust me, this ain't what you want, Pastor, because I'm going to do what I do. See, and that's your problem. You're so full of you that God can't come. But see, when you got some folks that have been through some stuff, they like, I'll take the correction. I'll take the encouragement. I'll take whatever God has. Because I know that whatever he gives me, it's going to bless me and keep me and help me and prosper me. I don't care what it is. I will take just a smidgen. I don't even know if smidgen is a word. But that's all I need. 